the world because he has always been one of those masters of kiting back around objectives. Not necessarily the greatest initiator, although has the outside chance of doing that, but again, been more about when he joined the Tigers. He became like a whole different player. ADD very, very low. There's a flash and well, Smeb picks up that first blood. ADD comes back. They don't know Peanut's there though. They're gonna try to jump onto Smeb. Pina comes in. Nice knockup from the Rex side though. Looks like Smeb will go down. Answering kill comes in for MVP, but more revenge for the Rock Tigers and beyond. Can he finish off Peanut? Looks like he might just barely not be able to do it. Oh, nice cocoon for Because movement speed is a great statistic. It's just 15 move speed is too low. It's uh -oh. ADD. All right, they're going to dive this guy. ADD, playful trickster. One Smeb tanking those turret hits. That fizz very low. Smeb trying to get away. Whoa, super low. Peanut not able to. Well, he does finish him off. Smeb does die to the ignite in the end. That was a bit awkward. That was sloppy. And now Ian's going to get the Emperor's Divide for an easy pickup. Nice check. I suppose they may just give this to Peanut. Yeah, all right. So they're probably going to give that over to Peanut. Smeb just moving with ADD in the meantime. To slow him down with the pillar. Peanut's coming up. Rom is there too. Gorilla might help him make a play. There's the repel. Can they catch him? Fizz drops the ultimate. Lands it, but dies. Meanwhile, Max trying to make the play on the Cry, but Cry dodges everything, lands that chains of corruption. Ian very, very low, but Cry can't quite finish him off. Little gank here looping around from behind. Can he land the cocoon? ADD trying to escape. Spiderling thrown in. Fizz ult thrown out. Cocoon misses. Doesn't matter though. And that was a bit cleaner as far as ganks go. And they should be able to get it. Oh, well, tempered fate use. Smeb still pounding away, and they'll get it. All three outer turrets out now. No magical journey for you, Max. Smeb's going to take it instead. It's like, this is my magical journey. Brahm all knocks up beyond. The Q from Brahm doesn't hit Ian, though. Rock's Tiger still bulldozing their way through this mid lane. There goes too hot on this one, though. I don't know what you'd say, but there's definitely something. Oh, Prey taking some turret. It's, ooh, nice flash cocoon from Peanut. Easy gank there. Good pick for the Rocks Tigers as they do a bit of damage. A long way home, I guess. <laughs> like, I'm out of here. You guys are crazy. Whoa, oh, Ian somehow escapes again. Q on the max. No magical journey for you. You are not allowed. Magical journey. Magic week in, in a siege comp. Oh, Helps him take Baron as Peanut. well as Peanut might be caught. What are you doing, buddy? All right, well, Peanut just gets completely caught. Gonna repel. Will he escape? Comes right down to that Fizz ultimate. He doesn't make it out. There's a kill for ADD. Gorilla trapped up too. Emperor's Divide pushes Smed back into the enemy team. Gorilla trying to live. Tempered Fate not hitting anybody. Prey gets some damage on the beyond. ADD comes in. Trouble, a double kill already though for Cry. He's gonna flash ahead. Goes for the triple. Gets it. Nice Q on to ADD. As Cry wants that Quadra. He's chasing. ADD the only one left. And Prey! Hey! Oh, he gets the Quadra! Ready to knock down some inhibitors. Definitely a bad look. Smab also has gone for the Frozen Heart. Usually we expect Iceborne Gauntlet, but you're against the Azir, and I guess to some degree the Fizz, let alone an 80 carry, so attack speed debuff relevant. Chains of Corruption hits. Yeah, it's on Maha. Nice flash from Peanut. They're going Ooh. in. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Brahmalt slowing down the counter engage from MVP. Tempered Fate does hit Cry for the moment. The crying is all on the MVP side right now, as it looks like this game is pretty much over. Max slowed down by Smeb. There goes the inhibitor. And will the Rock Tigers finish touch? off? Oh, okay. can't hit anybody. Push up. Kuhn misses, but I don't think Rocks are done. Yep. And there goes the second inhibitor. Rocks Tigers taking that without issue. And will they stick around? Cry hit by that tempered fate, but no follow up. ADD goes in immediately blown up. Beyond tries his luck. That Rex Light goes down fast. Another double kill as Gorilla gets low, but doesn't quite die yet. Cry did get taken out in the end. Maha eaten by a troll. Oh boy. And Nax, the last one standing. The last one to watch his base fall. And the Rocks Tigers looking very, very good here in game number one. I mean, they played a siege comp, they played it well, and that's gonna be it. Very much played themselves into confidence though, Joel. They still made some mistakes this game. It was certainly not a flawless victory by the Rocks Tigers, but a steadying one. This is what they needed yeah. to show. It was still very much